The next step in the installation is to put in the trigger mechanism, which is the fire control group, it consists of the trigger, hammer, disconnector, and two pivot pins. Before I install it in the receiver, I want to go through a little bit of how it works and what's happening because once I start working inside the receiver, it's going to be almost impossible to see. So first thing is when it's in the gun, the disconnector will be held in by the pivot pin and even out of the gun, this is a little difficult to get it to align. There it goes. So when it's in, that pin will go through the trigger bar, the disconnector, out the other side. One of the important things to notice is when you're installing the hammer, the spring legs on the hammer have to be on top of the pins that hold the pin that holds in the disconnector and the trigger uh, because there's a very small notch that that leg fits into and holds that pin in and keeps it from walking out of the receiver when it's finally installed. The pin can go in in either direction. The notch on that side, notch on that side doesn't matter and either pin works in either location. First step, drop in the trigger after I take out the pin. Be nice if you could do it that way, but you can't. The trigger in. I find it's a lot easier to do these things if I use a small uh, Allen wrench or a small pin of some sort to align things just before I start to work. As once you start getting your fingers down inside this re receiver, it's hard to move things around. So. I'll start one pin and put it into the receiver and through the trigger bar just so that it sticks into the first side and doesn't come through to where the disconnector is. Then I put the disconnector in and start working it around until the pin always goes through, goes all the way through. That time I didn't need to use the Allen wrench, it aligned pretty quickly. Sometimes I'll use the Allen wrench go through from the other side to hold the disconnector in place, aligning it while I push that pin through. So now the trigger bar and the disconnector are in place. See when I pull the trigger, it springs forward by itself. And the disconnector, you can't see it, but when you do it, you'll feel it writing on that spring and you can actually move it back and forth. 